Do you ever wonder or think that other people, when you look on, they think that they've got everything together, um, that they must have some secret sauce or something that they do because their life seems all together. I think this is a pretty common experience, particularly because we have so much access to social media. And for the most part, people, you know, put stuff out that shows the best moments of their lives. There are some exceptions to that. I think what I want to acknowledge here today is that every single person by Bar none, bar none, experiences life. And life has hard stuff in it. End of story, the truth. You know that, I know that. There is not one of us that escapes bumping into the hard things. How we meet those hard things is what can be different, is we can choose how we meet those hard things. And sometimes it doesn't feel like a choice. I get it. So I want to make this really personal and just acknowledge that I experience all of the same things. I talk about living a life that you love. And I also talk about the things that keeps us from that. I know it so well. I know what it feels like to have dark thoughts that just feel so sticky, like toffee. I know deep, heart-wrenching grief where you just want to curl up on the floor. I know anger, rage that bubbles up. I know anxiety and fear that has me wanting to rush for safety. I know shame that makes me want to dive for cover. This is, these are human experiences. Not one of us escapes, not one of us. So know this, there's not something about you that you're broken or not enough in some way when you feel these things. We all experience them. So the difference is, how do we meet these things when they come up? And there's lots of different ways. And, you know, there's lots of personal growth stuff that talks about, and it usually in some form is about meeting the intersection between difficult things and how we approach it. And there's lots of what I would call bypassing. Just saying, yeah, it's a hard thing, but I'm going to, I'm going to take the high road. I'm just going to think positive thoughts. I'm going to repeat some affirmations. Other people talk about, yep, I see this fear and I'm going to blast right through it. Those things can take you a short distance. But you will always, always come back. You will always come back to the messiness. In fact, these strategies keep you engaged here. They keep you engaged in your head, in the cognitive thinking space. We, you know, lots of these strategies, people think that they've sort of, it's an, it's an evolution. They've evolved to some higher something. But the thing is, that exists in this space. This is where this is happening. I try to manipulate my thoughts. I pretend they're not there and I go around them. I use whatever, whether it be religion or uh, you know, affirmations or whatever it is to get around the fact that life is absolutely so incredibly hard sometimes. So you can do that, that's a choice. The other choice, and I would suggest, the choice that actually allows us to live with life, even when it feels really hard, is to learn a strategy where we meet the things that normally our humanness wants to push away. 
This is the path to living with life, to loving your life and navigating it even when it's hard. And this is a choice. You know, I'm not saying affirmations don't have some things that can be very helpful and help us to give us a little boost. What I'm saying is getting to the root, getting to the very thing that we keep avoiding is actually the key. When we allow ourselves to do that, we're actually working with the nervous system because the things we bump into when life has really hard stuff show up is our nervous system gets really activated. And old patterns show up even more effectively here. We slide into old ways of doing things. That's just how we're hardwired. It's not a, it's not a, you know, some flaw in you. This is how we do life, is how humans do life. But there is another way. And the other way is to acknowledge the very thing that you don't want to feel, that you would rather get rid of, that you'd rather bypass around, that you'd rather say, yes, but let's just think the positive things. Your choice. But if what you want to do is be able to navigate and dance with life, to surf the waves that life brings, this is long-term effects. This is building capacity in your nervous system. And as such, it has it lays down physical substrate in the nervous system to know how to meet these things when they show up in our lives. That is to turn towards. So what does this look like when we learn this set of skills? It looks like I have these d sticky, dark, heavy thoughts and I'm okay. It looks like I feel this curl up on the floor, heart-wrenching grief and I'm okay. It feels like rage, anger, frustration, the heat bubbling up, the spinning thoughts, and I'm okay. It's anxiety, the clench in the gut, the tightness in your throat, wanting somewhere to feel safe, and I'm okay. I'm safe. It's feeling the flush of shame, wanting to die for cover. And it's okay. I'm okay. This is the difference. It doesn't mean that, that, that this doesn't happen. It's how we meet it. And this is a skill that inside of the work that I do with my clients is this is a, a capacity that we build and it results in resilience, human resilience. I work with women leaders who want to live their best lives, live their truest lives. And these are skills, these are, these are human skills that they learn. They learn how to meet these experiences, how to be with them, which gives them the capacity to move through their day. And even when life lands something, we have no control over life. But when life lands something that wobbles us, they know how to, oh, right. Feeling this, it's okay. What is my best response to this situation? That's what this gives us access to. More ease, a sense of freedom, a choice, a knowing, a clarity about, oh, here's this thing and I feel it rocking my world. Maybe you're even clutching your surfboard like, oh yeah, here's some waves. I got to figure out how I'm going to navigate this one. 
but we don't get swamped. And if perchance there's a bit of a swamping, we know how to get back on top of the board again, to surf again. We know how to navigate when life hands hard stuff, because it will, because that is human. There is not one person in this entire world that will escape meeting life, the hard stuff in life, no matter what you see on social media. The truth is living a life that you love is about learning how to navigate when life is really challenging. Really challenging, but sometimes it's even a little bit challenging. Whenever our nervous system gets activated, maybe it's something that just a relationship, right? This, this, this is a skill. This is a, a thing that we learn and it's courageous. This work isn't for everyone. But it is for courageous women leaders that want to really love their life. Learn how to navigate both in their lives, meeting their lives well, but also to lead powerfully from a very heart-centric perspective. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If there's anything that you want to share here and experience, uh, feel free to reach out to me on email and at annbex.co. I'll put that in the in the comments. Um, <clears throat> love to hear from you. Hope you have a great day.